We're up to Mitzvah 136, Mitzvah Zasei, number 62 in the Torah, which is on the Kohen Godel, at the time of the base of Migdash. Very interesting Mitzvah. It's found in Vayikra Vav, Pasuk Gimel, Vayikra 6, verse 13. It says, Zek Karbon Aroin Uvon Vashem Yakrivu Lashem. This is the offering of Aaron and his sons, which they shall offer to Hashem. This is the mitzvah of what's called the Minchas Chavitin. It's like a Chavitin, is like a Chavita, is a pancake. You go to Israel and say, ah, oh, I want a Chavita. It means either an omelet or a pancake, depending, like, you know. <clears throat> but bottom line is, chavitin means it was, like, fried. So, <clears throat> what happened is, there's a special mincha that the Kayen Godel had. He brought his own carbon every single day. <clears throat> and as I will explain, it was a very interesting, you know, uh, carbon that he brought. It was a flour offering that he made into... Loaves, right? Breads. <clears throat> and half, it was broken in half, and half were offered in the morning, and half were offered in the afternoon. Bain or bain. So this is called a minchas chavitin. Some people called it a mincha, I mean, sometimes it's called a minchas, um, a minchas, it's got a couple names. Minchas koin mashiach. You know, a couple different names that it was called. Um, Minchas, sorry, Chavite Koen Godel. <clears throat> but anyway, bottom line is, it was. Oh, now what's the the first of all the coin the coin Godel brought this Mincha, and. It was what we call a full isarai, a certain amount that was brought by the coin. And it was like this. It, was, it would be, it would break it up into, it would be, it would be mixed together. We take the flour, and the flour would be mixed together with, flour would be mixed together with three lugin, three measures of oil <clears throat> and it had to be broken up into 12 loaves of bread. So basically it was a quarter of a loig for each one of these challahs that was mixed together with this flour. It was a little bit, um, a little bit it was fried. Actually the way, this is the way they used to do it. They would First, he would, well, what would happen was like this. He would mix it together with the oil. Then he would, add, you would, you know, kind of like cook it a little bit in hot water and add a little bit of hot water, or actually put it into the hot water. <clears throat> then he would knead each one of the six, uh, I guess the, 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 it would be broken into six loaves of bread. Actually, well, it was six loaves for the morning and six loaves for the evening. So what happened was, he would have these, um, he would first, he would bake it a little bit, then they would fry it with a little bit more, with a little bit of its oil, then didn't cook it too, he didn't bake it too much. Then he would take each one of the challahs and he would split them into half. And then he would end up bringing the first half in the morning and it would be added also with this, like a little bit of, it's called frankincense that it was offered with. <clears throat> and like we said, when it was it was like it was fried, so it was like in a flat pan. 
<clears throat> so you'd have six of the, the loaves in the morning, six of the loaves in the afternoon. Now, it's a very interesting... First of all, you have to understand a little bit of the background of this. It was only done by the coin Godel. So what was the purpose of this this uh, carbon that was only for the coin? <clears throat> that is, the coin Godel, would, the Koyhanim would be bringing people's carbonus all day long. However, the Torah wanted that the coin had his own carbon. And every person needs to do their own personal growth. You might be, let's say, a person's out there saving Kla Yisrael, right? Doing all kinds of wonderful things, teaching, learning, being a Rav, whatever it might be. But you also need to do your own personal growth, not just helping other people with their growth. So in order, you gonna, if you're going to try to bring up other people, you're going to help others, you also have to be growing in your own. Personal growth. Personal learning. So the same thing, the Kohen Godel had his own personal carbon that he had to be bringing as well. And he would bring it in the morning, half in the morning and half in the evening. Kind of also to symbolize that from, you know, you might be helping people all day long, but you have to remember, yeah, that's right, you have to remember in the morning and remember afterwards in the evening, bottom line is you still have to be working. It's like if you're a doctor and you do medicine and then you take care of yourself, you have a cold, you can't just... That's right, you have to be taking care of yourself as well. You have to also remember, as much as you are, you know, involved with other people, you have to be working also on yourself. And that was what the Torah wanted, that the Kain Godel should, should understand. Now, um, <clears throat> a normal, uh, this was like we said, this was brought that the Kain Godel would bring it. However, an ordinary Kain, a Kain Hedyet, had to bring this carbon once. On the first day that he performed his Avayda Reis Amigdash, he also brought this kind of Minchas Chavita. And this way they called it a Minchas Chinuch. What does that mean? This carbon, which was where you offered, you, you brought, you brought the, the uh, flour. By the way, normally by another, by another, um, when a Kayim brought a Kayim, you know, which we'll see soon, when he brings a, normally when a Kayim brings it, a Kayim brings a carbon, he offers up the whole thing. They would take these things, these chalas, and then they would, um, <clears throat> they would be burned. So, by the way, so like I said, so the Kain Hedyay that also brought this kind of a carbon, <clears throat> he brought it all at once, and he didn't bring it half in the morning and half in the afternoon. He brought the whole thing all at one time. Yes. What's a chavita? Ah, chavita. What is a chavita? Yeah, like what you said before. Yeah, it's like an omelet. Oh. Yeah. Mine is a pancake. Like a pancake. Oh. Okay? It's a food. So that's why it was brought. It was brought as these chalas that he brought. He'd bring them. They were very shallow, very small. And then afterwards, they would split them in half. They would have half of them to bring in the why morning and half in the evening. Why would he bring in the afternoon. Like small chalas? Why would he bring, like, so small colors? They weren't so small. I mean, they weren't that big, but they weren't so small. All right. 